A dilated cardiomyopathy spares no section of the population. It can affect young babies soon after they're born, it can affect men and women in their prime, and it can affect people later in life in their 80s and even 90s. I research dilated cardiomyopathy, or DCM. Dilated cardiomyopathy is a heart muscle condition that affects about 1 in 220 of us. Uh, it's the most common reason why patients get referred for heart transplants and it's a very common cause of heart failure affecting anyone from, from young babies right up until the age of, of 80. I first became aware how vulnerable and precious hearts can be just after I'd qualified as a doctor. I was working in Scotland and I came across a young lady in her 30s who'd been diagnosed with heart failure secondary to dilated cardiomyopathy around the time of pregnancy. And despite all of the medications that we were able to treat her with at this time, unfortunately her condition progressed and she sadly came to the end of her life a few years later. And this made me realise how precious hearts can be, that dilated cardiomyopathy can affect anyone, um, even young healthy women in their prime. We need to be able to find the right treatment for the right patient at the right time. To be able to do that, we need to understand their disease better. Part of that includes using advanced imaging, like MRI behind us, and also understanding the genetic makeup of a patient. Dilated cardiomyopathy is an intrinsic heart muscle problem. Um, people develop dilated cardiomyopathy usually because of a mixture of nature and nurture. Dilated cardiomyopathy causes the heart to become baggy and weak. And when it becomes baggy and weak, it's possible that the heart cannot keep up with the body's demands and that can cause someone to develop heart failure. Whenever they become breathless, they may retain fluid, they may become fatigued. They can also develop problems with their heart rhythm and that can cause palpitation. In the worst circumstance, it can cause someone to black out and even die suddenly. People living with DCM and their families face very many challenges. And my hope in the future is that we can identify people who are susceptible to developing dilated cardiomyopathy before they develop it and, and prevent them from doing so. I would like to thank Macy for sharing her story and helping us make people aware about dilated cardiomyopathy and how vulnerable the heart can be. Macy's story is exactly the type of story that inspires us to do the research that we do to try to find new treatments to improve the, the lives of people with dilated cardiomyopathy.